All right, students, I got something cool for you here today. Um, hold on, let me get these uh, out of the way here. We got our Louis the Bat and some cicada shells. And we got two snakes, pretty cool, in jars. All right. So, um, I don't know if you've heard of this, but there is, uh, there's a lot of things in the news that kind of dominate with the protests and riots and police and all that stuff. Um, but buried in the back, if you, you might have heard the story about the sewer reconstruction that's going on right by Dulles International Airport. Um, but they're, they're fixing up some of, some of the sewers down there. And a friend of mine that is a Shenandoah biology professor, his name is Dr. Jeremy Verweiss, he sent me a sample of something cool that they discovered well, they're doing these sewer reconstruction, um, this project, this, this construction project. So uh, what happened is the construction workers were getting down in the sewer to assess what needed to be rebuilt and what was okay, and they noticed these little tiny bugs swimming up and down in the sewer water. That's gross. It is pretty gross. <laughs> so they're like, well, what, what is this? And they, they collected some samples and... Um, did dissections and did studies of these of these specimen, and they discovered that it's a mutated form of a familiar insect. Um, raise your hand if you if you've heard of lice. Well, I've yeah, heard of lice. lice. Is that what you get in your hair? It's what you get in your hair, and they're gross, and they're little bugs. They almost microscopic, little white flecks, and you got to do all kinds of stuff to get rid of them. It's yeah, a pain. They, they make you itchy. They're a parasite. If you remember parasite hosts from life science, they damage us, the host, and we get no benefit. So it hurts one organism and helps the, the, the lice. So these mutated versions, they're calling sewer lice. And by the way, the, the plural is lice. If you find one of them, they're called louse, just so you're not confused. So there's one louse, there's two lice. So these sewer lice, um, they don't live in your hair, they don't eat your skin, which is much better for us. They actually live in the sewer water and they eat sewage. You know what sewage is? Poop, Ooh. urine, excrement, gross stuff. But we don't we don't care if they eat that, right? Because it's already it's already trash to us. So they eat some things that we don't we don't really need anyways. Um, the the cool thing is they are so large that they can be seen with the naked eye without a microscope, without a magnifying glass or anything. So you you literally can just see them looking at the water, swimming up and swimming down. But their legs are the same size, roughly, as a regular louse. So you, it's hard to see the legs, and they're way too big. Their bodies are way too big for them to walk. So they move. Their form of locomotion is swimming. So they kind of kick with their little legs, and they swim up and swim down. Um, they, this is. I wanted to make sure that our, our our viewers at home could see this. So I had to keep the lights a little brighter than I'd want to. But they're actually nocturnal, and they they thrive in a dark environment. They're more active when it's dark. So. Hopefully they'll be swimming up and down. I'm going to try to shade them from the light and show the people on the camera and show you guys these, these sewer lice. But would you like to see them? Yeah. All right. All right. So the first one I'm going to bring out is a specimen. I'm going to show the people in the class. You guys see? Live yeah. specimen. Live specimen. Those things are big. They are big. That's really so nice. people on camera. What does that say? It says live specimen. Then it says date collected 9-6. So that's pretty recent. It's just a couple days ago. Location uh, it says sewer reconstruction 2C Dulles International Airport. We see that? Now, if I, if, as I turn it around, you can see them swimming up and down in the sewer water. But there goes oh, a couple of them all kicking up together. They are fat. Let me show the people on camera. That's See if I can shade right them here. from the light. You see them swimming up and down there? I'm trying to get the slant right. There you go. Oh, there goes one. And then once they once they go back down, you can see them swimming down. Okay? So these sewer lice. Um, did anybody see their legs, by the way? Some people think I that... I thought I seen one. I can't... It's hard for me. I don't have the greatest vision. Clearly, I have glasses. But some people think they can see the legs. Um, I don't know that I can honestly say that I have, but that you can definitely see them swimming up and down. Um, some people said they could see them breathing. I haven't seen that personally, but um, they're moving their 
lot. They are moving a lot. So they must have a good shaded place for them right there. Uh, so here, here's the, the cool thing. They, as they studied these things, they discovered that they are swimming up because um, they, just like regular lice, need to breathe air. They're not fully aquatic creatures. They're more like frogs, amphibians, where they need to have air, and then they also can live in the water. So they, they go up top to the top of the water to breathe. But the sewage, if you know anything about like toilets, the grossest stuff sinks to the bottom, right? It's, it's, and, and we're going to learn about suspensions and solutions. It would be a suspension where it settles out and the heavier stuff sinks down. So they swim down to the bottom, eat the sewage, swim up to the top, breathe, and just perpetually up and down, breathing and eating. It's pretty much all they do. So here's the cool thing. Let me take this top off again. So um, they did more research on these, on these sewer lice, and they discovered they could actually solve two of mankind's biggest problems. The first is... What do we do with our excrement? What do we do with our waste? Uh, because they found that these, these lice, over time, will actually eat the sewage and the waste, and they will, if you give them enough time in that environment, they will largely purify the water. Because you flush your toilet, it's got water, but it's also got urine and fecal matter and waste. So it purifies the water if you give them a few weeks to do their thing and makes it clean and actually drinkable again. Wow. Yeah. And here's the other I'm thing. That. So, w would you would you like to uh, would you like to see me uh, drink a little bit of this water? Yeah, I'm right. Sure. Okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. No, no, I'll do gross. it. Don't tell my wife; she'll never talk to me again. But I'll do it. So, well, are you gonna get sick? Hopefully not. Hopefully not. Well, I mean, it's the the this doctor that's been studying it said it's safe to drink. So, here's the other cool I don't thing. Know. We'll see. We'll see. I mean, if, I go, if I'm not here tomorrow, you'll know why. Um, so here's the other thing. These sewer lice, as they study their body composition, they discovered that they're mainly composed of an easily digestible protein, which in simple terms means that they are edible. So you can actually eat these sewer lice. But no, because their, their digestive system breaks down the waste, and it's, it's, it's their poop, but their poop is digestible to us. So... Would you like to see me eat one of them? What? I get this is dinner and, and a drink here. So here's the here's the last cool thing. I have a sample that see this is from what two or three days ago, two days ago, three days ago, depending on what class you're in. Um, and there's a sample from August 25th, which is like a couple weeks ago. You want to see the difference yeah. between yes. those two yes. samples? Remember I said it cleans it out. Yeah. So here's just the jar, oh, wow. and it says. Same thing, but it says 825 instead of 96. See the water? See them swimming up and down? Look at that. And here's the dirty water. Wow. Isn't that cool? Dude, that's awesome. That's totally Clean awesome. water and dirty water. So I'm going to be smart about this, and I'm going to eat a sewer lice and drink out of the clean water as opposed to the dirty water. Yuck. All right, so... Here's the other cool thing. When I open this, what, what happens to our bodies when we digest things? Sometimes there's a gas built up, right? Yeah. So if yeah. you listen closely, I'll try to do it close to this microphone here. You can hear the gas being released from their digestive processes. Are you ready? Everybody has to be totally silent. Ah, it's really silent. I'll open the other one in a second. All right. Hmm, it actually smells... Like a water fountain. That's weird. I expected it to be nasty. All right, you ready? Don't tell anybody. This is top secret. Oh, it's all wiggly. That's so gross. Oh my god, it's disgusting. Oh. That's so gross. Hold on, I need something to drink. Oh, oh man, that's, that's weird. Oh, man. Oh, so there's a suit. Why would you do that? Because science is about exploration and discovery, so why not? Um, that's weird. I didn't expect it to taste like that. It was like... 
the taste wasn't too bad. It was kind of like nutty and bitter, but not within oh, the realm gosh. of like eating a nut. But the weird thing is it was like wiggly as I was chewing oh, on it. That was the gross part. That makes... All right. So I'm just going to grab a cup here and I'll pour a little. I'll, I'll put it on video that you can see it. Oh, a couple of them flew in there. I should say they don't fly. Swam in there. You ready? Cheers. <laughs> wow. I, if I would close my eyes and not seen these lice, I'm going to pour these guys. No, I'll just leave them out. Um, I would have thought that that was just a cup of water. That was wild. I thought it was going to taste gross, but it didn't. I would assume this is this is how bad I am. I'm, I want to smell this one for, for comparison because I'm, I'm a guy and that's gross and that's what we do. You ready? Listen for the gas. Did you hear that? That was much louder that time. That one was louder. I'm wafting. Ho! Oh, all right, that's enough. Oh. Yeah, there's there's that classic toilet smell, but that's the dirty sewer water, right? So, all right, I think I've already done the grossest thing of day one or week one for school. Um, one other thing that we thought was was cool is, as as your science teachers talked about what this could mean for us is think about soldiers right you've got two the two biggest needs of soldiers are water and food i mean you got shelter and other things too but if if you gave them a pack of these of these sewer lice just sewer lice nothing else they could literally go number one in their canteens throw some sewer lice in there forget about it for a couple of weeks and then in a few weeks they would have bigger sewer lice that they could use to eat for food and they'd have clean water in their rations. So it could be a cool could be a cool little relationship as opposed to regular lice which are just parasitic and we don't like them. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Um, stay tuned for more for more uh, crazy science stuff here with Daniel Morgan.